We're Trent and Allie, and life has been a little busy the past couple months. <laughs> He's going to be marrying us. Oh! <laughs> Soon? Right now. Right now. now. Oh! <laughs> no matter how many projects we have going on, I can always count on Trent to find something that needs fixing on the truck. Take me to the hospital. I can't. This is our uh, only car. This looks like you had a fire. A piece of slag landed on my... <laughs> these are my instructions. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, we'd love you to click that button right now. And come along today as we hit a major milestone in Terry. We're taking Terry on her maiden voyage. But we have no idea how to do this. Have you done this before? No. I've never even tried. And get her ready for an off grid adventure. You ready? Is this the moment? This is the moment. Bum, ba, da, 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 get bum. your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, no. Just waking up to a beautiful little bit of latte art this morning. Everything at the property has been going really well. We're hoping to get up there really soon, but before we can move Terry up to the property, we have to get her fully ready to move. And that includes the last little piece of solar. I already installed the solar and the batteries, so that portion is complete. Today I'm gonna to be doing the inverter, and I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to set up an inverter in an RV that already has an AC and a DC system to where you don't really need to rewire much. But first, I need to have a cup of coffee. While we're enjoying our coffee this morning, I've been having a couple butter cookies, and I just have to say thank you. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> for the butter cookies. <laughs> the thing these is are, as big as your head. These are two of maybe like five or six tins of butter cookies that we've received from a lot of our viewers. Thank you so much. I have a lifetime supply of butter cookies. I will never ever run out of butter cookies. This tin right here is, uh, maybe it's not the biggest one they make, but it's absolutely enormous. So thanks guys. Trent's the kind of guy that'll save every single one of these for months and months and months. A year from now, it'll be Christmas and he'll pull a tin of butter cookies out from under a table and just start munching on them in the corner. And it's like, where did you get those from? And it's like, oh, a couple years ago, someone sent me some butter cookies. They don't go bad. It's just the weirdest thing. <laughs> They're sealed. They they retain their their crispiness. <laughs> the thing that's kind of funny is in like Central and South America where it's so humid, as soon as you open these, they become like spongy yeah. <laughs> because they just like absorb all the moisture in the air. Much different. Here in Utah, they stay crispy for quite a while because there's negative humidity in Utah, in case you guys were wondering. When we were trying to figure out where to buy property, my family's all on the East Coast, and we were like, you know, should we th should we consider the East Coast? Because that's where my whole family is. And I was like, absolutely not. We will fly to visit them. We will drive to visit them as many times a year as you want. But I can't live on the East Coast because it's so humid. And why? one of the reasons I love Utah is I can wear my hair down. It's not humid. And uh, for all my curly-haired friends out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The humidity just makes it makes everything worse well isn't that because of your redheaded gene mutation yeah is that what that is i didn't know any of this until i started dating trent but i guess that being a redhead also includes a lot of superpowers that you don't always see on the surface and one of those is a very high tolerance high tolerance or low tolerance to heat high tolerance to pain low tolerance to thermal Pain. Butter cookies. What, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> thermal paint. Oh no. Uh, so I busted my knuckles up the other day and I keep bleeding all over the new couch and all over all different kinds of things. I busted up my knuckles putting a lift on the truck. Oh my goodness. Uh, what are you doing? Well, BDS sent us an amazing lift kit that I'm going to be replacing on the truck, and so it's going to be a little bit higher off the ground to clear 
snow and rocks and hopefully do better in the mud. Basically just trying to increase our chances of being able to get to the property year round. Wow. I want you to wear a medic. What are those old person necklaces? I want you to wear a life alert so that if something happens while I'm in the house, I can come out and help you. Well, just keep your ears open if you hear a <laughs> muffled scream. <laughs> That's probably, you. Probably come out and check on me. <laughs> it is starting to get extremely hot though, and I think what would be perfect for working on the truck right now just happens to be the sponsor for today's video. You guys are probably familiar with them. It's Moonshade. The thing that I absolutely love about the Moonshade is that you can set it up basically anywhere. You can attach it to a tree, you could suction cup it to a window on your house, you can magnetize it to your truck while you're working on it. It can be something that you take camping, it can be something you use in your front yard. Basically, it's the most versatile portable awning ever invented, and we absolutely love the Moonshade. We've been using it for almost a year now since they put it out on Kickstarter. Now they're in full-fledged production. If you guys are interested in checking out the Moonshade, click the link in our description, and with code Trent and Allie, you guys get 10% off. It's a huge discount on a really great product, and it's basically the most affordable awning you can put on a car. And just like that, it takes me less than five minutes to get this thing set up. It's gonna provide me with really reliable shade, gets a nice breeze going underneath so it stays nice and cool. I love Moonshade. If you guys want a Moonshade, click the link in our description. You guys are gonna love it too. Are you excited? Sure. Huh? Yep. Do you love me? Yep. How many times? Once. It's a good start. <laughs> you gonna be safe out here? No. No? No. I'd I actually need you to check on me occasionally, and that's really hard for you to do, but... Are you joking? <laughs> Please be safe. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. If anything happens, I'll... I'll pick the truck up off myself, and I'll get inside and grab my phone, and I'll call you. Where's your phone? It's in here. Will you put it next to you, please? I don't want it to get smished. If it gets smished, you're getting smished. It could get smished. I'd rather not have uh, any smishings. Huh. I love you, be safe. I love you be safe. Huh. I know editing can be really dangerous. <laughs> Goodbye. That's the sustenance I'm looking for. You're kind of, you're licking your lips like you already ate one. <laughs> I might have tried one. <laughs> Trent has been working on the truck since this morning. It is now late afternoon and it's a mess out here. All I know is that um, he worked really hard all day and he just came inside to take a shower. Look at this guy. This is what Trent looks like after a day of working on the truck. I, oh I mean, this goodness. this is the power of coveralls. Okay. Your, your elbows down though is like, Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take four or five attempts at scrubbing with dish soap for sure. Were you just like bathing in car rust? Why are you so you know, dirty? I just, I become one with the car. <laughs> when I have to work on something, I just, I, I take a little bit of it, I put a little bit of it on me, I it's become like... one with it, I talk to it. <laughs> me and the truck had a really long, probably a seven hour conversation today. Yeah. I don't wanna get technical, but I'm like a quarter of the way done and I literally spent an entire day on this lift. And we have two more days until we have to go back up to the property. So one, the truck has to be done to go back up to the property. Two, I have 48 hours basically to finish the lift and let's hope I can do it. I just don't understand. Did you like rub dirt, like lotion on your hands? Like the backs of your hands are so dirty. Yeah, it gets everywhere, babe. It's, you're, you know, that's what happens when you work with your hands. You touch everything. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna go shower, moonshade. Definitely saved my life today, kept me out of the sun. That's probably the only reason I don't look sunburnt. <sighs> I got two more days to go. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down.
I have a question for you. Oh, what's up? You've told me that you'd be nice and safe and things out here wouldn't be too much of a problem. Everything would be okay. What is this? Oh, I had to use the plasma cutter on a, a riv nut yesterday. This looks like you had a fire. A piece of slag landed on my... <laughs> these are my instructions. <laughs> so hopefully I don't need anything in the top left corner of one of these pages. Yeah, it was a fire. I <laughs> smelt it yesterday, like after I got done using the plasma cutter, I was like, it smells like something's burning. I couldn't like find anything or see anything. I was like, all right, whatever. Maybe it's just like some plastic that melted somewhere. So I like start working and all of a sudden I see a little bit of smoke and I look over and the paper's just like, like blowing as so I like go to blow it out and it like makes it worse. I was oh. like, no, so I like spit on it and I like step on it on the dirt and finally it stopped smoking, but I'm missing a portion of the instructions. I think I can find them online, so Great. it's not a huge deal. Day three, the tires are almost all the way on. Things are almost looking like a truck again. We had a crazy thunderstorm last night and I honestly thought this moonshade was gonna rip away in the wind, but everything survived, everything is intact. And Trent is even in a good mood, which is huge. This is called a leaf spring. They call it that because of these pieces of metal are called leafs. It's probably like a system that's over 150 years old and they still use it. They wow. like had this system on wagons. They had metal leafs, but wooden wheels. Whoever thought of that. This is back when you were a child. This is, yeah, this was uh, when I was coming up in the world. <laughs> Me and my wagon building <laughs> skills really came in handy. You know, van life was always calling to you. You know, I didn't want to tell anybody, but I have been doing wagon life for at least <laughs> a millennial or two. Now that work on the truck is done, we're taking Terry on her maiden voyage. We're about to go for a trip, the first trip in Terry, to go dump the black tank, yeah. and the weather turns to crap. So we might be getting rained on, it might be a tornado, but we're getting rid of this poop one way or another. The weather's turning to crap, we've got to go dump the crap. This afternoon is full of crap. It's really nerve-wracking though because unlike the van, if something moves or shifts, I can just run back and fix it. If something moves or shifts in Terry, we won't have any idea until we get to our destination park and then go back inside the trailer. I need safety glasses to be out in this wind. I've got <laughs> so much crap in my eyes. Ah. It is an afternoon full of crap. <laughs> We have made it to the RV dump. Neither of us have ever dumped black water before because the van had a composting toilet. But we have no idea how to do this. Have you done this before? No, I've never even tried. I'm really excited to get this done because one of the main reasons that I don't like black tanks, it kind of stinks in the trailer right now. And that's because it's full, it needs to be dumped. It's full of yours. It's mostly Alex. It's actually. all you, Trent. <laughs> in the van, I don't know why, but it was always my job to empty the toilet. I'm really excited that Trent is taking on the Blackwater. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, I gotta go pay these guys. Oh, look at that. Now what? I'm ready to let the poo go. Are you ready? I've already got <laughs> juice all over me. This is disgusting. All right, I think I'm ready. All right, let's just get this over with. All right, right all right. Ready? Oh, it's blowing. Oh, I feel it. It's blowing. It literally feels like there's a, it's like this is full of sand. Ew. I think it's done. There's nothing in there. Okay. All right, now. I close that. Oh yeah. That's the gray water? Yeah. So after the black tank goes through, you do that first. They use the same port. So you close the black tank, and then you open up the, the gray tank, and the gray tank will kind of flush the line with stuff that's pretty much just as gross. But once this has done its duty, it's got a lot to go. 
then I'll use the hose and spray the hose out and get it nice and clean. And you can have this too for the fee of five dollars. <laughs> That's it. Oh, <laughs> Ah, oh, there's so many cuts on my hands. <laughs> ah! That oh. is a deep one, and all of those oh, just burn no. so bad. I don't want to have to deal with black tanks too often, guys. Just keep, just hold it, Trent. Yeah. Just use a real bathroom, Trent. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Quit using the toilet in Terry. <laughs> At least we are poop free, nice and clean. I'm glad we got that taken care of. And so far, Terry is handling the roads really well. And just for the record, most of the poops are alleys. Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy. I think it's backwards. No, it's, it's supposed to protect your neck. Oh wow. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> Woo. Well, can you guys tell that the truck has a little bit of a lift on it? No. It makes the tires look really small now because I think the lift is so big, but that's okay because the reason we lifted the truck is so that we could put bigger tires on. And that'll be happening here soon. For today, we need to get Terry self-sufficient, get the electrical system completely hooked up. Now I have all the parts, I got all the fuses, I got everything that I need. I just need a decent afternoon and today doesn't seem like it's gonna be too hot. I'm pretty happy about that. Looks like Christmas. It looks like Christmas. So this big box oh, is the inverter from Renogy, like I talked about before. Renogy makes pretty much everything from start to finish. They totally hooked us up with this whole solar system, inverter, charge controller, batteries, everything. And if you guys want to use Renogy, you go to their website, you use code Trent and Alley, you get 10% off, and you get a quality product. I love pretty much everything they make. A new toilet seal some hooks to go around the camper. We're getting ready for the big bathroom renovation. That's uh, the last big project on the trailer. And we thought for a while, you know what? We're not gonna replace the toilet. It's in pretty good shape, it's fine. And then we went to go empty the black water tank and it was our first time really driving Terry and the base of the toilet started leaking all over the bathroom floor. It was absolutely disgusting. So we've since decided, yeah, we're 100% gonna replace the seal and probably the toilet because that was probably causing a lot of the smell. Yeah, and by Ew. leaking, she doesn't mean fresh water. She means poop Ugh. and pee and a little bit of water that's mixed with poop and pee. I can't ever get away from it. All over the inside of the Trent bathroom. actually, Trent emptied the black water with the hoses, but I still had to go in and wipe up poop water on the ground. I can't ever get away from cleaning up poop. <laughs> So even though I am pretty well versed with solar systems and electrical and installing things in vans and campers and whatnot, I know that this job is going to be a little bit stressful and so I don't get irritated halfway through. I'm having myself a delicious cheese pastry before we get started. I'm sure most of you guys saw this coming. <laughs> you gotta spread out the butter cookies. Can't eat them all at once. There's no such thing as too many butter cookies. <laughs> but if there was, I would be getting close to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a keeper. In case you guys haven't uh, been able to tell thus far today, 
Allie's in a terrible mood, so <laughs> you'll probably hear a lot of jokes making fun of me throughout the day, and that's just fine. This is married life. <laughs> Boy Scout skills really paying off there. Hey, if I wasn't a Boy Scout, I'd have been cutting towards myself. <laughs> nice they do make a lot of these components really big, and that's to compensate for heat because the larger the component, the more surface area you have to dissipate heat. But sometimes it makes it really hard to fit it into these small compartments. Also, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, don't put the don't put the inverter and the charge controller in this airtight box because it needs to let heat escape. And basically, I have an idea for that. I have these little grates. What'd you do with them? Me. Allie. I didn't touch them. They're right here. <laughs> Allie put them over there. I didn't touch them. <laughs> so they're basically these little grates that kind of plug into a hole. I think they're actually for the soffits in your house. You can put them up in there oh. and it lets things breathe. But the charge controller is going to go right here, and as you can see, all the cooling fins are on the back. So it's going to mount on this wall right here. And I think I'm going to put like uh, four of these right here, mm. and then I'm going to put like two of them right here. And then I'm going to have a computer fan that's going to blow air out the back of this cabinet. So it's going to suck fresh air from inside past both components that are going to gain any type of heat. That'll have a cooling effect. It'll be a nice moving of air. A nice moving of air. A nice moving of air. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Think you can catch one of these in your mouth? If there is something we need, it's a <laughs> leap bathroom, of faith. Bathroom. Step away from <laughs> my eyesight must be failing. <laughs> we'll blame it on my throat. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dead. <laughs> if you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Made a little bit of a mess on the rug here. See, if I was thinking ahead, I would have moved the rug, but I wasn't. But I've got pretty much everything except for the bad battery temperature sensor hooked up. Looks so good. It's actually a really bad rat's nest, but I'm just not one of those guys that makes really clean electrical setups. Those are called electricians. <laughs> you ready? Is this the moment? This is the moment. Bum, ba, da, 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 Get bum. your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm ready. It's gonna be over quick. Wow. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh no. Hey. Wow, this has got a pretty sophisticated little display center. Not that I ever had any doubt, guys, but guess what? We have solar power. We're up and running. <laughs> There's only one thing left to do, and that is for Allie to go outside and plug in the extension cord, make sure that the charging portion of the inverter charger is operating and communicating and everything's going good. I'm so excited. All right, so right now we have an output of 119 volts and zero volts coming in. So when Allie plugs it in, this should hopefully go to between 110 and 120. Yeah, go ahead, plug it in. Hey, 123 volts, we're juicing, baby. And it just switched over, you can see how it says bypass. That means the incoming from the electrical cord is now running straight through the inverter charger and also the light came on, so it's charging the battery and it's powering the house. Pretty sweet. Woo, I'm so excited. <laughs> I would have to say probably the absolute worst thing is living 
halfway in Terry. Yeah. Terry is still halfway a construction zone. So now we've got the solar, we've got the electrical system, everything is self-sufficient and hooked up and ready to go. But if you take a look around, obviously this area here has got tons of stuff that still needs to be installed, little things here and there. Some of it's for the bathroom. And like I said, we're still under construction. The bathroom we really haven't even done. We have a toilet showing up. We've got some other things showing up and then we're gonna tear into it when we get we're some free time. We're gonna tear into it. Hey, <laughs> Holly with the dad jokes. <laughs> then you open up cabinets like this and it's just like bolts and nuts and screws and odds and ends. So oh, that's our pantry. That's our pantry, yeah. And it's just... Trent's a robot and he runs on screws. Things are crazy here. We're getting there though. You made a lot of progress today. We did make a lot of progress, and even though it took me three days to put on the lift and empty the black tank, it only took me three quarters of a day to install the inverter. So I'm happy with it. It looks like everything is in working order. So thanks to Ranagy for hooking us up. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and show us that you appreciated it. Consider subscribing to Trent and Allie if you haven't already. Thank you again to Moonshade for sponsoring today's video. Please click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Oh my goodness. It's Look melted. It. No, it's perfect. <laughs> wow. It's not frozen frozen though. It's like the exact texture and consistency that a grandma you're looking want. for to <laughs> scoop and eat immediately. <laughs> this is perfect. Bye bye.